Hello, it's Marco here from Markham3D.com and OzzesandDragons.com. We're going to go through a very quick process of entering a bounding box, going through a sliding door, waiting two seconds, and letting the door close behind us. So all I've got here is a trigger box, a door, and I'm going to go up and select Blueprint, and select Convert Selected Components to Blueprint Class, and then save the Blueprint in the desired directory. From here, we're going to select the Event Graph, and we're going to delete all the default stuff here. From here, we're going to select the trigger box on the left hand side and select on component overlap. From here, we're going to expand out and select add timeline. And we're just going to move it up a little bit and then double click on the graph to bring up the timeline. I'm going to enter a point at the start. So zero, zero. And then we're going to enter, change it to one second and we'll put one on the end at zero and one, uh, sorry, one and one. And make sure you hit compile. From here, we're gonna select our door and then we're gonna expand out and type in set relative location. From here, you expand the new track and we type in LARP and you might need to turn off the case sensitive and then we'll plug that into new location. From here, we need to check the location of the 3D model. So at the moment it was 000, and we've moved it over to 120. So we have gotta make sure we move it back and compile that one. And we update the second vector. We compile, then we check to see if it works. So we enter the bounding box, we go through the door. Beautiful, the door stays open. So from here, we go to the trigger box and we select end overlap. And we're gonna put in a bit of a delay here of about um, one second or two seconds. And then we're gonna do that. We're gonna change that to reverse play. And so we'll compile that and press play. And we walk through the door, the door opens. We leave the bounding box. We wait two seconds and the door closes behind us.